Hi, my name is Dr. Joseph Provost of the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at the University of San Diego. So today we'll talk about tube selection and balancing for your safe and effective centrifuging needs. So here at the University of San Diego we have a number of different centrifuge heads uh, available for use. These have been um, supplied by budgets from the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, Biology, and Physics. So it's important you take care of these. These are shared uh, pieces of equipment. So we have a number of different rotors here to look at. Here we have a 500 mil tube rotor, the FiberLite F10 6X 500Y, where there's six 500 mil slots available for you. Here is another FiberLite rotor, the FiberLite F21 8X 50Y. These hold 50 mil tubes and their adapters. We'll talk about that in a second. A similar older rotor, a metal version of the same thing as an SS34 head. These also hold um, the same size tubes as the fiber light, uh, and they both work in both centrifuges. And then over here we have the, the basic holder for a swinging bucket rotor and a number of uh, the, the four buckets for that in the Sorvo, and it's the SH3000. You can also see here we have different inserts for the buckets, and then there are actually centrifuge buckets or tubes that fit these large buckets here that'll hold about a liter volume. So let's start with this centrifuge head. So if you look at the bottom of this adapter, you'll see if you, especially in person, you can see that they're conical. These are meant to fit these style of tubes. If you don't support these, um, these conical tubes in this type of a head, what happens with enough g-force, you'll start warping out the plastic, you'll lose your sample, the sample will uh, spread throughout, you could get contamination, and certainly um, unbalance the centrifuge, potentially ruining a very expensive piece of equipment. So these type of tubes can only be used in here. You can, with care, try to fit these tubes in these, never use it that way, they're not supported, these are rounded on the bottom, these tubes don't fit, they will warp and break and these um, unbalance the tube, causing contamination and potential breaking of the whole instrument, certainly of the rotor itself. These um, SS34 and Fiber 21 or F21 heads use 50 mil tubes. Um, we also have uh, adapters for these tubes for smaller size tubes that are sometimes plastic or rubber. Each one of these sleeves or adapters can fit inside of this. They have a different mass, so if you use one tube with one tube on one side, you make sure that you have an, another adapter on the other side, the same adapter on the other side. You always balance across the center, not across half. So whatever's on this side must equally balance this side precisely. What's on this side in this spot must um, balance out exactly with this side. And that's the same for all of these centrifuges. You must exactly balance from here to here within about 0.1 gram, depending upon how fast and the volume you're spinning. Lower volumes uh, have a little bit more, um, you can be, uh, uh, you can have a little less um, variability there, or a little more variability there. So if you if you put such a, an adapter here, it has to go here. And you still want to balance these out, and we'll talk about balancing out in a little bit. All right, and in this centrifuge, we only have 500 mil bottles. And if they don't fit right, you do not use them. If you're not sure, talk to your advisor. So let's talk about these tubes for a second. So these are centrifuge tubes, they hold 500 mils. These are polypropylene tubes. Uh, they come with various tops, there's different types of these. You can find some different kinds of chemical um, um, capable tubes. So if you're using, um, make sure if you're using chloroform or some other organic solvent that you check to see that that is um, you, it's the right kind of com or chemical solvent to use for various tubes. The, the tops, all these tops should have a centrifuge O-ring. Make sure that those O-rings don't get lost. They're quite expensive and hard to replace and you place them in there. Make sure that all the caps you use have the O-ring and so when you you fill up and balance these off they they have the O-ring in them. For the 50 mil tubes for the SS34 and the F21 these are a typical 50 mil tube. They come in different chemical makeup. This is another polypropylene depending upon your needs whether it's a something you want to make sure that um, there's no vapor contamination for biologics or other issues. You, you may need a top as long as you're no more than, um, you don't want to fill any of these 
more than 80% filled about this far from the top um, because when you centrifuge this, the G-force will, will, will push the fluid off to the side and if you overfill, then the fluid will come out of the top, even if the top is on. So you don't want to fill these any more than about this fill, about 80% of this capacity. If you look up all these tubes, the solvent capa uh, capa uh, cap capability and the capacity for each tube is found online with a thermal or sorval. Um, there is also a minimal volume for all of these tubes. If you take a look right here, somebody, this tube was actually centrifuge and you can see that they used a very small volume. When they centrifuge this, the liquid went against the outside of the wall, outside of the wall, leaving the inside unsupported and it act, the plastic actually started cracking. So this tube is no good. If you see cracks or stress marks like this, one, it's because these tubes were run with a very small volume. So you want them at least halfway filled, especially for the higher speed runs. With the low volume like this, you can't run this. You have to find a smaller tube and then use an adapter. So this was caused by having low volume and um, not a, um, a too high of a spin and the plastic just basically caved in on itself. The same thing can happen with the larger volumes. It's hard to see on these things, but if you run just a, a small volume in this at a high speed, again, without a liquid inside to support this, the bottle will cave, dimple, it may get stuck in there, it may break the bottle, and it will certainly cause stress fractures to cause failure of the bottle at a later time. So with all these bottles, half to three quarters filled is what you need to have to run in them. If you don't have the right volume, you have to use a different tube, a different bottle, Make sure you use the adapters. All right, so now let's talk about how to balance the tube. So if you take a look here, we have a, a, a nice uh, balance here. It's set in the middle there. If this is off, then all you have to do is adjust this to make sure that the balance is at the neutral point. And you have to be patient. Here we have two tube holders. Notice that you have to balance this while the holders are on. They may not be the exact same weight. So for most cases, you're going to take your tubes, put them on there, and then adjust with whatever solution you're trying to centrifuge until the volume's the same. Make sure that when you do your balance, it's always good practice to make sure the cap's on there as you're balancing. All right? And you want this balance to be, again, equal. When balancing with the, the 50 mil tubes, make sure you have a balance tube across that will go on the opposite side of the centrifuge. If you have a top, make sure you have it on the balance pan when you're doing the balancing. If you're going to use one of these adapter tubes, make sure you include the adapter tube on your balance pan on both sides, then put your whatever tubes you're going to put in there. So it's really important that whatever goes in the centrifuge sits on the balance pan, whether it's a cap, the tube, or an adapter. Whatever you're going to put on the other side has to be on the other pan, so that way your centrifuge is balanced. If you're using the larger tubes, then of course put your bottle on there and the top as well. A lot of these tops, there's some variability depending upon the lots and everything else. And always, again, make sure you check for the O-ring. And no matter what happens, whatever is um, balanced across has to go across. Thank you.